enjoyed just kind of getting back on the field after the injury? Uh, you know, it's been great. Um, I mean, it's hard to sit on the sideline and watch over there uh, while those guys are out there grinding. Um, so it feels good to be great. You know, I did my treatment, and, uh, you know, it feels – Feels a lot better um, than, than it did, and uh, you know, I feel like uh, it's just uh, great to be back out there with the guys. And then Saturday, you got an opportunity to really test, especially with that little catch and run, seventy-five. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean that's that's just a, uh, a generic little bubble screen, and uh, if it wasn't for Mike Evans out there with with a great block, you know, I don't think it it, uh, it would have sprung like it did, and um, that's just uh, that that kind of attitude that we have uh, on the field. You know, um, you know, everyone's got a block. Everyone's got to, you know, do the little things to, to be a great football team. You mentioned Evans. What are you seeing from Evans and the young guys, particularly Evans? Though he really looked good the other night. He, uh, you know, he's a he's a great football player. He's he's big and he's very physical. Um, he's really got he's got a lot of heart. Um, he's been practicing great this spring, and uh, you know, he's got the tangibles to be a, a great receiver. Um, he just needs to come out here and keep working hard, and uh, just keep working on the little things. But uh, you know. Uh, as a senior, he's just uh, he's doing some great things, and I can't wait wait to see what he does here. Uh, he's just uh, a great athlete. Week one, you talked about the tempo and how it was so high out there, and now a few weeks later, are you guys kind of settled into it a little bit, or is it still kind of overwhelming each day at practice? You know, uh, it's one of those things. Uh, you just gotta. I mean, I, I'm getting used to it. You know, it's one of those things. You, keep, you do it. You condition. You condition. You condition, and the more you do it, the more you're gonna be in shape. And uh, it's one of those things. We're just. Uh, trying to emphasize, and um, it's still tough. And you know, football is not an easy game. It's a tough sport, and uh, those coaches are really trying to emphasize that tempo. And we just got to come out and, and keep doing that and getting better at that. You know, um, you know, I feel like that that kind of wins football games is is being a tough football player. What about the overall consistency of the receiving core? How is that improving? Uh, you know, I think it's improving a lot. These guys are, uh, you know, uh, out here getting better. We're pushing each other, and there's a lot of uh, competing going on in the field at every single position. Uh, uh, the, these guys have a lot of character, and uh, we're doing the little things, getting in the film room. Our, our coach, Coach Beatty, he's doing a great job of coaching us up, and, and uh, you know uh, we're having fun with it. But uh, at the same time, we're competing, uh, and we're pushing each other to be the best that we can be. What's Beatty doing to really keep you guys accountable? We've heard, you know, easy has been in here, and other guys have talked about how many extra things you guys are doing, and, and even kind of penalties for drops and things like that. Yeah, he's just uh, really holding us accountable to, to you know every little detail. Um, whether it's dropping a pass or, you know, uh, tucking the ball a certain way or taking a drop step, you know, he's really just uh, uh, teaching, you know, the little things. And uh, you know, that's that's what wins football games. It's a game of inches, and uh, yeah, he's doing a great job with us. This is a big weekend uh, week for Ryan Tannehill. How happy are you for him? Are you surprised at all by, by the success? Yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, I actually uh, talked to him today. Um, I think he's very ready for this uh, to get going, and uh, I can't wait for him. Uh, you know, I, I hope the best for him. Um, you know, he did some great things here, um, and uh, I have a great connection with Ryan, and I uh, just, you know, uh, hope for the best for him. The spring camp Ryan winds down. What have you learned about Coach Sumlin after just a full camp with him? Uh, Coach Sumlin, you know, he's got a lot of energy, and uh, he, he just, you know, has that – that mentality of uh, getting better every day um, and, and, and just pushing us to be the best that we can be. Um, and, and, and he uh, really emphasizes that with us, and we're going to go out there and, and, uh, and, and put in that effort that, uh, that, he, that he wants. And um, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so uh, we're just going to uh, you know, keep pushing, and uh, uh, you know, he's, he's a fun coach to play for. Uh, he, he's got a lot of energy, and, and uh, you know, he, he makes practice a lot of fun and, and something to look forward to. You talk about what you've seen out of the quarterbacks this spring, from especially from week one to where they are now. Yeah, uh, I feel like uh, you know all the guys are kind of blossoming right now. They they uh, they're all showing uh, uh, you know good things out there on the field. You know, Johnny um, obviously he, he's a he's a guy you got to keep an eye on. Um, you know, at all times he, he's just a weapon. He can throw the ball. He can take off on you. He can he can break you down. I mean, he can do it all. Um, and then you got Jamil Showers. Who's right there with him, you know? Um, who has, you know, has he's had a great spring, Jamil. Uh, you know, I feel like he he's really been getting in the playbook and doing the extra things, and he's really been slinging the ball around. Um, and then you got Matt Jokel, um, who's right there with him too. You know, those three guys they're all battling, and uh, Matt's done a great job of just, uh, you know, competing this spring, and uh, he's really thrown some nice passes in, uh, in those scrimmages. Um, and, and then you got the young uh, Matt Davis, uh, who who uh, 
he's still young and trying to learn it all, but you know he's he's got a, a lot of potential. He's, he's a great athlete, and um, so that's my outlook on on the quarterback spot. They're all competing. They're all trying to get better, uh, and they're all working hard. So so that's the main thing. And from your perspective, what have you seen out of the defensive backs, especially the corners, going up against them this spring? Uh, you know, there's a. I feel like DeShazer has done done a great job. Um, he's he's a very physical corner, uh, along with Floyd Raven. Um, you know, uh, I feel like that those two guys uh, are working hard, and um, uh, I feel like all the defensive backs uh, are you know working hard, and it's just a battle of practice every day.